good morning everybody so today we'll be dealing with some numericals on rh criteria the method which is used to test the stability of a given system so in yesterday's class we had solved one problem so we'll go with some different type of numerical today so the numerical which we had discussed yesterday was stable so we'll see how an unstable system will looks like when we test it by using ruth hurwitz criteria so example 2 test the stability using rh criteria for a characteristic equation So in the numerical, again the characteristic equation is given 1 plus gh which is equal to 0. So once you get a characteristic equation, you need to, the first thing is to construct Rh table. Step 1. So to construct Rh table, write down the power of S in decreasing order terms. Now, to get the first row, the alternate coefficients are taken, s raised to 4, coefficient is 3, s square, coefficient is 5, and constant term, s raised to 0, is 2. Now, to get the coefficient, we need to go for the coefficient of s cube, the alternate term is 5, so, as I told, any missing terms should be shortfall, filled by the zeros. Now, you need to find the next elements from the first two rows. Now, to get this element, 10 into 5 minus 3 into 5, 50 minus 5, 50 minus 15, 35, 35 divided by 10, I will write directly, 50 minus 15 by 10. Now this row will be 10 into 2, 20 minus 3 into 0. 0 divided by 10. So 20 by 10. Now the next element coefficient of this will be 5 into 3.5. 17.5. 5 minus 10 into 2. 20. 2.5 divided by 3.5. So this will be 2.5 divided by 3.5. Now this element 3.5 into 0, 10 into 0. This will be. Now as I told, the last element coefficient will be always the constant term which is there in the characteristic equation. Can write it without any calculation also. Now 2.5 by 3.5. Sorry, this should be 3.5 into 5. 17.5 minus 10 into 2. 20 divided by. This will be minus 2.5 by 3.5. Now, once you get the RH table, you need to apply the RH criteria, as we know, for the system to be stable. For the system to be stable, the first column elements, 
there should not be any sign changes there should not be any sign changes in the first column of truth array now first column first column signs you need to consider the first one is plus 3 plus 10 plus 3.5 minus 2.5 plus 2 now if you observe the signs first column signs so as from first element to second element no sign change from second to third again there is no sign change from third to fourth row third to fourth row so it changing positive to negative one sign change from this to this plus to minus minus to plus again there is a one more sign change so as you can observe the order of the system is two and there are two sign changes so there are first con first conclusion there are sign change in first column it means hence system is unstable so for system to be stable there should not be any sign change now from this sign change there are two sign changes it means two roots are lying on right half of right half of s plane so you know two roots right half of s plane so how many roots are there on left half of s plane as the order is 4 n equal to 4 is the order n minus roots lying on rhs is equal to n minus 4 minus 2 2 roots are lying on lhs of s plane so two roots are lying on left half of s plane and two roots are lying on right half of s plane as any one of the root lies on right half of s plane system is said to be unstable so this is a simple example which i have taken to test for stability especially the given system is which is unstable system is unstable you may be asked to find how many roots are lying on right half of s plane how many roots are lying on left half of s plane but here we will not be knowing exactly where the roots are or location of the poles will not be known here will not be known here now we will move with a problem where the trans open loop transfer function is given just i will give as a hint you can solve and this is, has been already given in your notes you can refer the notes problem 3 test the stability 
of the system represented by an open loop transfer function test the stability of the system represented by an open loop transfer function in the previous two examples directly the characteristic equation is given to you characteristic equation is given to you if i give an open loop transfer function a simple i will consider a simple example g of s h of s i will consider a simple just to give an concept s plus 2 s plus 4 open loop transfer function is given to you so when the characteristic equation is given you can directly start with the rh table if the if an open loop transfer function is given you need to find the characteristic equation so how to get the characteristic equation so to start with characteristic equation is equal to 1 plus g of s h of s is equal to 0 as the g of s of h of s is given so therefore characteristic equation is equal to 1 plus g of s 1 divided by s plus 2 s plus 4 taking lcm taking lcm this should be equal to 0 taking lcm s plus 2 s plus 4 plus 1 divided by equal to 0 transfer this here we will get s plus 2 s plus 4 s into s where we will get s square plus 2s plus 4s 6s 4 plus 2 8 plus 1 the simple to explain the concept only i had taken simple example taken the simple example so if you consider this if you solve this you can use rh criteria or directly as the system is second order we can find the roots so this will be s plus 3 whole square the roots are s1 comma 2 is equal to repeated minus 3 minus 3 or you can use rh criteria or you can use rh criteria as the order is 2 i solved it so as you can do it by using given rh criteria also need not to find the rules if you want to test to explain the concept just i have taken simple example so s square plus 6 s plus s square s raised to 1 s raised to 0 the square coefficient is 1, 9, 6, 0, last element is 9. You can see the sign plus, plus, plus. So no sign change, no sign change in first column. Hence, system is. Just this is I have taken second order, but you will not get an example of second order. Minimum it will be fourth order. And above, fourth order and above. As up to third order, you can solve by using Kelsey and you can find directly the location of the poles and where you can predict the stability of a given system depending upon the poles, whether they are real positive, real negative, or whether they are complex conjugate with real positive or real negative or they are purely imaginary so based on that you can predict the stability of a given system so these are the three different numericals which are discussed first two corresponding to the given characteristic equation usually the characteristic equation given will be minimum four maximum it may be up to seventh order you may get up to seventh order system you may get characteristic equation you may get so in that case you need to get the rs table and predict the stability of a given System. Now, 
let me go to solve the problems where the constant gain k open loop gain k we need to find its limiting value find its limiting value so we'll solve one problem based on how to calculate k from rh criteria what is the limiting value and again similarly depending upon the sign changes in the first column we can predict how many rows are lying on left half of s plane how many are lying on right half of s plane and how many are lying on imaginary axis and what is the frequency of oscillation for the roots which are on the imaginary axis you can find you can find is that clear you can solve some problems depending upon the order which should be minimum four minimum four now to find the k value again fourth problem find the range of k for the system represented by find the range of k for the system represented by a characteristic equation by a characteristic equation for 1336 s raised to 4 4 s cube 13 square 6s plus k equal to 0 now the clearly it is mentioned so what will be its open loop transfer function open loop transfer function so you can directly write p of s h of s is equal to k divided by here this will be in the denominator s is common s into s cube plus 4 s square 13 s the same thing the problem definition either it may be open loop transfer function or it may be a characteristic equation either thing is given to you if this characteristic equation is given you can directly go for the thirwich table if g of s of h is given 1 plus equal to what you will get s raised to 4 4s cube 13 square 6s plus k both are one and same either depending upon the case depending upon the case given whether the open loop transfer function is given or it may be then closed loop characteristic equation is given so you must be able to get when the open loop transfer function is given 1 plus g of s if 1 plus g of s h of s is given directly we can go for rh table directly we can go for rh table so using the characteristic equation using the characteristic equation we'll go for rh table we can go for rh table now to plot the rh table characteristic equation highest power of s term s raised to 4 s raised to 3 s square s raised to 1 s raised to 0 now write the coefficient of s raised to 4 1 13 k 
1 13 k constant term is k now coefficient of s cube 4 6 0 4 6 there is no element fill it with zeros now to find the next element you have to find the determinant 13 into 4 52 minus 6 into 1 6 divided by 4 4 into k 4k minus 1 into 0 0 4k minus 0 4k divided by 4 now this is equal to 52 minus 6 will be 46 46 by 4 46 by 4 11 point 5 11 point 5 and as I told the coefficient of s rest to 0 will be always a constant term now this will be 11 point 5 into 6 this into 6 minus 4 into k divided by 11 point 5 this element will not be there this will be 0 this will be 0 because this into 0 minus this into 0 divided by this will be 0. So this will be this into this minus this into this divided by this will be equal to k. So construct the RH table carefully by taking the determinants to get the determinant first one this into this minus this into this divided by this. Similarly for this term this into this this into this divided by 4 this is how you have to continue to get complete the rh table complete the rh table now the next step as we know for the stability to test the stability first column elements for systems to be stable to be stable the condition there should not be any there should not be any sign changes in first column of RH array or RH table we, have, we know the condition. So according to this, first one element is positive. 11.5 is also. This should be should be positive. This should be positive. The first three elements are positive itself. So for the fourth element to be zero. 11.5 into 6 minus 4k divided by to be positive this should be greater than 0 condition you will get a condition on the first column elements now similarly for this to be greater than 0 11.5 minus if this goes on this side now 11.5 into 6 so this I will transfer on the other side minus 4k will become plus 4k it means 4k less than 11.5 into 6 so therefore k must be less than 11.5 into 6 divided by 4 so what is k k will be 11.5 into 6 divided by 4 use calcium 
you can calculate Six five are thirty. Six one are six plus three nine. Sixty nine by four. So four one are four. Four seven are twenty eight plus one. Seventeen point four two five. Let me verify. As we already solved. Sorry, something went wrong. Four thirteen. So whatever it is, whatever it is. So I the problem which I solved is different. Here I had taken the coefficient of s thirty six. So anyhow, the problem which you are considered k is less than seventeen point five. Now the second condition. Condition from the last element, k to be positive. From the last element, k should be greater than zero. Now to get the value of range of k, range of k, k should be greater than zero. K should be less than seventeen point five. This is the range of k for which the system is stable. Now. K is equal to K max maximum value seventeen point five. Now the system will be marginally stable for K equal to seventeen point five. K system stable. K greater than zero. marginally stable k and unstable unstable k greater than so this is how we can find the value of k for which the system is stable unstable and marginally stable so it means if k value is less than 17.5 all the roots are lying on left top of s plane system is stable if k is equal to if you put exactly 17.5 two roots are lying on imaginary axis two roots are lying on imaginary axis system is marginally stable And if you put k is equal to greater than seventeen point five here, you will get system unstable. System is unstable, but you will not come to know how many roots are lying on right top of s plane. You have to consider some value of k here, greater than. Say take for example twenty, and check the value. There will be nine changes in the first column of R H table. You take k less than seventeen point five. Solve the problem. And you will get all the roots lying on left top of S plane. Means there will be no sign changes in the R. You take exactly k is equal to 17.5. You will come to know the two roots are lying on imaginary axis. Purely imaginary system is marginally stable. Marginally stable. So this is how we can find the system stable, unstable. Or marginally stable for a given now we will deal with a numerical wherein we are finding wherein we are finding where for which value of k there will be sustained oscillation for which value of k there will be sustained oscillation so I can Explain the sustained oscillations in the example also, or we'll discuss. We'll deal with the other numerical. So if you are asked to find sustained oscillation, 
if you are asked to find sustained oscillations in a given numerical, so put k is equal to k max, 17.5, and solve it by using RS criteria, and solve the auxiliary equation, second order, which is a square. The auxiliary equation you will get it here. Auxiliary equation you will get it here. So you will get the sustained oscillation or frequency at which the system oscillates. There we can find from a given RH table. From a given RH table. Now I will consider a case wherein here the characteristic equation is given. So I will consider one numerical where g of s is given to you. And I have already explained if this is given, how to get it. So we'll start, we'll take on some higher order numerical and we'll find the sustained oscillations. Now, the problem, fifth one, test the stability of an open loop transfer function test the stability of an open loop transfer function g of s h of s given k divided by s plus 2 s plus 4 s square plus 25. Find the range of k for stability and find frequency of sustained oscillations. Find the frequency of sustained oscillation. And we have to start solving the numerical characteristic equation solution when open loop transfer function is given characteristic equation 1 plus g h equal to 0 1 plus k divided by s plus 2 s plus 4 s square plus x plus if you take LCM, S plus 2, S plus 4, S square plus 6, S plus, plus K equal to 0. So this is the characteristic equation. You multiply all the terms, multiply all the terms, S plus 2, S plus 4 will be equal to S square plus 6s plus 8. The second term is s square plus 6s plus 25 plus k equal to 0 plus k equal to 0. Now again multiply these two s square into s square 
एस रेस टू फोर सिक्स एस क्यूब सिक्स एस क्यूब ट्वेल्व एस क्यूब नाउ सिक्स एस इंटू सिक्स एस थर्टी सिक्स एस स्क्वेर थर्टी सिक्स एस स्क्वेर प्लस एट एस स्क्वेर थर्टी सिक्स एस स्क्वेर प्लस एट एस स्क्वेर प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव एस स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स एस स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फाइव एस स्क्वेर प्लस एट एस स्क्वेर सिक्सटी नाइन एस स्क्वेर टोटल हाउ मेनी टर्म्स टू प्लस थ्री फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स थ्री मोर टर्म्स आर लेफ्ट नाउ थ्री मोर टर्म्स आर लेफ्ट नाउ विच आर एस एट इंटू सिक्स एस फोर्टी एट एस फोर्टी एट ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू सिक्स एस वन फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी प्लस फोर्टी एट वन नाइंटी एट एस ना ओनली द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म एट इंटू के सो लेट मी वेरीफाई सो द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन इज एस रेस टू फोर टॉल एस क्यूब सिक्सटी नाइन स्क्वेर वन नाइंटी एट एस प्लस टू हंड्रेड वन मोर टर्म इज मिसिंग वन मोर टर्म इज मिसिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू सॉरी 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 वी डिड मिस्टेक वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई ओनली दिस टू नॉट दिस इज सेपरेट ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू एट टू हंड्रेड प्लस के नाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द क्वेश्चन एस स्क्वेर एस रेस टू फोर वन एस क्यूब ट्वेल्व एस स्क्वेर सिक्सटी एस वन नाइंटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज टू हंड्रेड प्लस के नॉट के ओनली इन दिस केस कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज टू हंड्रेड प्लस के यू मस्ट बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई नाउ समाइम्स यू मे फाइंड द क्वेश्चेंट ऑफ दिस टर्म ऑल्सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ के ओनली टेन प्लस के और टू प्लस के सो लाइक दैट यू हेव टू कंसिडर होल क्वेश्चन यू टू कंसिडर कंप्लीट क्वेश्चन यू शुड नॉट राइट सेपरेटली टू एंड के लाइक दैट सो वट ऑल डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द टर्म्स यू हेव टू गेट द क्वेश्चन now to start with rh table to start with rh table s raised to 4 s raised to 3 s square s raised to 1 now we'll start with s raised to 4 1 69 200 plus k s cube 12 198 नाइंटी एट ट्वेल्व सो मिसिंग टर्म एंड एज आई टोल दस जीरो क्वेश्चन विल बी शुड विदाउट कैलकुलेशन यू कैन राइट इट टू हंड्रेड प्लस के ओनली टू हंड्रेड प्लस के ओनली नाउ हाउ टू गेट सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू द कैलकुलेशन डिटेल I will write directly fifty-two point five. This into this minus this into this divided by twelve. This into this minus this divided by this. Two hundred plus k. And this will be this into this minus this into this divided by this. So I will write. So or else I will keep it as it is. This term is this into zero. This into zero. This will be zero. So fifty-two point five into one ninety-eight minus twelve into two hundred. This into this. Minus this into this divided by two 
this into this minus this into this divided by this will be the last element. This is how you have to complete the table, RH table. Now for the system to be stable, system to be stable, what is the condition? No sign changes. No sign changes in first column. No sign changes in first column. So according to that, so this is positive, this is positive, this is positive, this should be greater than 0, this should be greater than 0. The first three are positive. This will be positive only if this is greater than 0. So according to the this element, according to this element, 52.5 into 198 minus 12 into 200 plus k divided by 52.5 greater than 0. So this goes here, 0. So I'll write directly 12 into 200 plus k must be less than 52.5 into 198. So the condition condition for k I'll solve directly. I'll, I'll put directly. So what we can do? 12 into 200. 2400 12 k k must be less than k must be less than 52.5 into 12 into 200 I will transfer on the other side this is 12 into 12 k divided by 12 so k should be sixty sixty six 66.25 the condition, the maximum limiting value of K is 666.25. You can solve the equation 666.25. The next one, 200 plus K. Condition 1. Condition 2. The last element, 200 plus K. K must be greater than minus 200. K cannot be negative. K cannot be negative. Minus greater than minus 200 means up to minus 1. Minus 200 to minus 1. Which it cannot be negative. So K should be greater than 0. K should be greater than K cannot be negative. So therefore, range of k greater than 0, less than and k max, as I told, must be equal to So what it means, if k value is less than 66.25 you system is stable. If k is equal to 6, exactly 666.25, system is marginally stable. If k is greater than 666.25, system is unstable. And now you are asked to find frequency of sustained oscillations. Frequency of sustained oscillations. To find the sustained oscillations, to find the sustained oscillations, we have to consider the auxiliary equation. We have to consider the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation may be second order. Here you will get fourth order. E1 order. E1 power of S term. The auxiliary equation can be obtained. Now this is our auxiliary. There are two methods to find the frequency of sustained oscillation. There are two methods to find the 
frequency of sustained oscillations. One is the method by using auxiliary equation. So I'll ex explain how to get the sustained oscillation by using auxiliary equation, auxiliary equations. And I will explain both the methods which will be helpful for you even for the later discussions about root locus. Discussions about root locus where you need to find. So now consider, consider second order or fourth order, second order auxiliary. equation s square coefficient of s square is 52.5 52.5 plus the next constant term is 200 plus k equal to 0 we have already calculated k k usually we have to take here k max 52.5 200 plus k is 66.5 So 52.5 is equal to minus 866.25. A square is equal to minus 8 divided by. So S is equal to as it is negative plus minus J under root. So this is equal to J, I will give the direct value, 4.062, you will get 4 point. So S is equal to J omega. So therefore, S is equal to plus minus J omega. So therefore, omega is equal to, we have to consider only plus. So omega equal to 4.062. So how this is how we can calculate? We can calculate the frequency of oscillation. The system oscillates at k is equal to k max at a frequency omega, omega equal to 4.062. It means two poles are at plus j 4.062, the other one is minus 4.062, at k is equal to 666.25. This is one method. This is one method. Now quickly, I will go through the second method also, which will be helpful. Quickly, I will go with the second method. Quickly, I'll go with the second method. Now, consider characteristic equation. Put S equal to J omega in the characteristic equation. J omega. K you are supposed to take K max. Put S equal to J omega and put K equal to this will be equal to 0 it will be equal to 0. J raised to 4 is plus 1. So this will be J square is minus 1, J square is minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1 will be plus 1. It becomes omega. J cube. J cube is minus J. Minus 12. J cube is J cube is J square is minus 1. J is J. Minus J 1. Minus J it becomes. J square is minus 1. So it becomes minus 
omega square the remaining rest j198 omega 200 plus 666 866.66 point so we have real part we have imaginary part we have real part and imaginary part you can substitute you can substitute either real part or imaginary part equal to zero equate real part or imaginary part to zero so i'll take imaginary it will be easier again if you take real part it becomes quadratic equation if you take real parts if you take real parts it becomes quadratic equation if you take imaginary parts just a simple equation minus imaginary part minus j tolu omega cube plus j now if i take outside j omega this will be minus tolu omega square i'll take j omega outside this will be j omega if i take outside 198 so omega equal to under root 198 by 2 radians per second this is how you can find the value of frequency at which the system oscillates oscillates this will be equal to 4.062 radians per second so either method you can use which one you find easier which one you find easier to find the sustained oscillations but better you go by this method by using an auxiliary equation this will be considering in case of while solving the root locus or we'll see the application of the method in while discussing root locus so this completes the numerical simple numericals based on rh criteria how to test the stability the two special cases i'll be discussing in my next lecture one is when any of the elements in first column becomes zero or particularly any row of a rh table becomes zero two special cases we'll discuss then we'll move on to root root locus techniques we we'll want to root locus techniques thank you if you have any questions queries you can raise your queries in the on our whatsapp group your class whatsapp group thank you thank you